everybody welcome back to freaky deaky mind um thank you for watching my channel i welcome you and uh i just have a question for you how's your mind today my mind's pretty good actually um thought this time around i would do just a random topic that i thought about and hopefully as time goes on i'm hoping that we can chat in the chat during a live and anybody could throw it a topic and we can talk about that so Basically, um, the one I was thinking about because of my last video, I was thinking about scheduling, scheduling and routine and how that can be beneficial and sometimes not beneficial for mental health, depending on the personality of someone. For the most part, I'm just going to talk about my own experiences. Once again, I'm not professional in any way, shape or form. And uh, you just take what you like and uh, leave the rest. I'm not here to uh, promote, encourage, or do anything like that. I'm just here to share my story in hopes it'll encourage um, people and increase strength and that they have hope that things can turn around. And that's basically my idea here. Um, so basically, I was thinking about scheduling and routine. Now, we'll say that all, basically when you have a schedule routine, the majority of uh, professionals, I will say, and the majority of things you will read is very beneficial for mental health because it keeps you going. You cannot make that decision to stay in bed. You cannot make that decision to, you know, I'm just not gonna clean these clothes because you need those things done. You need to keep going and, and that's fantastic. You have a time you have to do something um, you have to be responsible, productive, and all those things. And those are all great, and I found that they've helped me. Um, sometimes, that was just my son walking by. Because of my personality and the type of person I am in my own mental health and, and recovery, is I found that working the full-time job, I could put all my energy and my, uh, um, I could put my best foot forward, I guess I would say it that way, during those times. But then on my off time, that's all I wanted to do was just that, right? That schedule and routine helped me, but it also, I needed a lot of, I guess, recovery time from people. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it did for me. So on my off time, I wasn't much to go out with friends. Basically, I didn't really have friends because I never maintained those relationships. I had work acquaintances and things, but not friends because I didn't maintain them. So, and it does take work to maintain relationships plus family, right? Um, and things you'll read and professionals will say it's best to have a balance. You need to have a balance of friendship, work, family, all those things to be healthy, to be mentally healthy. And, uh, that that's great and that's great for a lot of people but it didn't work necessarily for me so um, anytime I supported anyone professionally or even now um, everyone is different everyone's got to figure out what works for them because I don't think there's a steadfast rule in regards to what keeps someone mentally healthy right um, Feeling like you have a purpose, and a lot of times having a purpose is going to work and uh, on a regular basis, and you have to bring an income, and you feel like you're productive, and you have a purpose, that increases mental health. And that's fantastic. I really do. I, I really do and miss that part of my life, going to work and talking to co co-workers and just shooting the shit and whatever, um, because I didn't maintain friendships outside of work. So that was something that was good for me. Um, and I look forward to it. Um, when work was done, it was family time. And most of my time was family time, doing laundry, whatever. It wasn't running around to maintain friendships. And I'm not going to go on and on about this. I'm just talking about my own shit. And uh, maybe I, 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 I'm, I'm, this is a longevity thing here. i got to stop about that. But anyway... Um, so what I'm saying is, I guess, my commitment to other things on my days off 
was hard to do. And I did try, like, say if mom was having a gathering, right? And I'd say, yeah, I'll be there. And I would start doing that. I'll be there, I'll be there, yeah, yeah. And then I would have this painstaking situation where I'd have to call and say, I'm not going to be there. Um, because I was just spent, you know? You put, you, you put that mask on at work. And you try to put that mask on at work every time, right? Or you take a mental health day. And uh, you just don't want to put the mask on on your days off. You just want to be your own self. And that's what I wanted to do. I needed to have my time. I needed a lot of alone time. You know, I guess introverted person, you know, I appeared extroverted at work, but introverted in my own personal life don't like a lot of people coming over. It's not for me. I never really did. I never really prepared my situation for that. And I just would only go to events if I felt I could do it, you know, and it, it, it was hard for, it was hard for family to understand that at first, you know, because my responses over time would be, I don't know, we'll see. And it's irritating because people got to plan things, right? So it's irritating to say, oh, I'll see. But I found that worked best for me compared to just going and not being in the greatest state of mind and then, you know, being miserable or or saying something snitty to someone or whatever, right? And so I, I wouldn't want to do that. So then I started to just say, we'll see. And I hope so. And I don't, you know, that sort of thing. And that's hard with friendships because friendships tend to, when you have friendships, you want to commit to doing something. You want to do something. And, and I never, I never did that. Even, even high school and, and when I was younger, you know, I, uh, I wasn't always, I didn't go out to those parties. I didn't go to the movies very rarely. And friends would encourage and call up and want me to go. And then eventually they would just disappear because I would just not do it. Right? I just, my, my mental health needed recovery time. That sounds really strange. And I don't believe that that means that I was unwell because I'm still like that today. And uh, I consider myself very healthy today. And I just feel that every person is different, you know? And it's okay to say no. It's 100% okay to say no. Um, we need to do it. Why? Because we're taking care of ourselves when we say no, that we don't want to or we can't or, or whatever. We're not feeling up to it today. And because mental health people don't talk about it a whole lot, most people, for the most part, will say they're not feeling good or they're sick or whatever, make up some kind of excuse. It's really strange for someone to say to you, yeah, I just don't feel like I'm in the greatest mood today. I just, you know, I just have to take me time. It's, I would love to see more people talk like that and say I'm not having the greatest mental day um, and I, I can't do it. Um, and that would be great. And I think as time moves on, and even now, it's a lot better than it, I feel it used to be. Um, or maybe it's because I'm a lot better at saying that. But it took a really long time. I'd just make up excuses for reasoning why I didn't want to attend or go or whatever. So that's routines and scheduling. The other part of it is without, because I stopped my job, and that'll be a totally different video altogether, but when I stopped my job, of a career for 14 plus years and I have always worked since I was 16 up the only time I didn't work was when my daughter I was home with my daughter um, for a few years there and uh, that's another video I um, I uh, that's a different part of my life well I will share down the road but um, so basically when I stopped that career I really when it became healthy, because I stopped because my mental health was poor, poor, and it was going downhill, it was going downhill. But I missed the routine. I It's almost like I had an identity within the job. You know, I was proud of what I did. And 
when that was gone, I, it was like a loss, a loss of identity of who I, who I was or who, who I, my, I guess my, my mental happiness was surrounded my occupation, right? You know, and I didn't feel like I was contributing. I didn't feel like I was, um, doing anything great, you know, by not working. So, I did start my own business and started down that road, but it was also something that took a long time because without a schedule, without a routine in your life, I know for myself, it's really hard because you have to be so internally motivated to force yourself to do something if there's no accountability on the other end. Like if there's no one saying you must get up and do this, that, and the other thing, or you must go to this place at a certain time every day. Even if it's not a job per se, it's a volunteer thing or it's whatever. You know, you have little children, so you have to get up and you have to attend those things. But if you don't have those things, it's really hard to get yourself to do and to be productive, right? And I think a lot of times in some of the facade and the kind of stigma related to mental health is that people are not motivated, they're lazy, they don't do anything, this and that. Um, and I can see how that could come to be because when you are not in a routine and scheduled life, it's so easy to fall into, I can do that later, or I don't want to do that right now, or I don't need to shower every morning, or um, I can let the laundry go another day. It's so easy to fall into that. And the more and more you fall into it, and the more and more you're more isolated, not seeing people, I found for myself personally, because I've experienced this, it's harder to go and do that stuff. It's harder to go grocery shopping. I mean, after I, I left my position, I found I isolated myself even more. You know, I knew there was a lot of talk out there that about myself that wasn't correct in my viewpoint and 100% wasn't accurate. And so I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to put my face out there. Um, I just want, didn't, it was easier to stay at home. You get in that habit of staying at home, right? And uh, that's what it was. It became a habit. So if you have a family member or you're working in the field or you know anybody and you're supporting someone and you really just don't understand why they're not going outside or they're not, what's the big deal? Why can't they just come with me? It's just a drive. It's just this. It's just that. Think about the fact if you were in a situation that you were always at home and you didn't do anything productive and, and you created for yourself a sort of your own little world in your house of things that made you happy, you know? And it's okay if someone doesn't want to go out. So it only is something that needs to change I guess if the person feels like they're missing out on something like even to this day I'm not a big social person right I I don't have a job outside, the, outside my home that I go to all the time I'm lucky that way I stay at home and do my work from home however I don't have to go out and socialize I don't feel like I'm missing out on things some people would feel like, well, I don't have any friends, I don't have this, I, I, I don't do that, but I don't feel like I'm missing out, per se. Um, I feel I miss the acquaintances that I had in work time environments and work environments and stuff, but I, um, I'm content. Um, not, I think I've gone really off track. I really do. You're going to find that with me. I really do feel like I've gone off track, but hey, that's okay. 
<laughs> I first start talking about scheduling and then routine and then off routine and then isolation and then friends. Anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of cooking supper, so I should go and finish that up right now. But I want to um, thank you guys so much for um, checking in and keep watching. Keep watching. I really appreciate it. And um, just sharing some of my things out loud to a camera, even though there might be nobody watching, I feel, I feel better. And I think um, it's almost like an online support. I wish I could see faces. I wish maybe that would come into the future. And I'd love, I'd love to have that move forward that way. But we'll see. I just want to thank everybody. Take what you like and leave the rest. Um, take care of yourself. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.